Hi guys, we are on a boot enabled system, a system deboot enabled system. And when we reboot our computer, we have two kernels. And the one that's default is not the one that we want. So it's booting from Zen. We don't want to remove it because we have scripts, remove all kernels, but, and you run it, but we want to keep it, but just set this one as default. So if we click on the power button, we go away. We want to be immediately in the Arch Linux, normal Linux kernel, not the Zen kernel. How do we do that in system deboot? Well, let's first wait. <laughs> Voila, a nice wallpaper. And then the setting, well, the command to remember, it's system deboot, right? And we're going to control it. So we, we need to boot CTL. We need to control our boot. And then it's help or something. And you read and you say, okay, cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Fine, right? There is so much information on your computer. Go to the manuals. But boot CTL and then tap tap is actually enough because immediately you see in the third column, set default. Aha. And then you need to be able to set something, but tap tap used to work previously, but we need to safeguard the boot EFI. Uh, we need to make sure that nobody uh, security wise can get to it. So basically we can't do this, tap tap, not anymore. Pseudo boot CTL, and let's do no to the end, tap tap, not gonna work. Well, we need to do exactly the same thing as root. That means su password for root. We're now root. This is a dollar sign. This is a hashtag. I am root. There's no sense in typing sudo now. Okay. Boot ctl set default tap tap. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we can actually, basically the thing is, what we did is we went in the file system to boot, this is protected, X. So we can't go in there, permission denied. But since we're now in control, I mean, we're root, we can see the configurations. And what I'll say is 452, tap, and then we have to look very hard, an A. Okay, the difference between this line and that line starts with an A or a Z. I want Arch to be the one that is the default. And that's it. Exit, sudo reboot. And from now on, I'm not touching anything. The second line is in control and the second line will be booted up. You have now the Linux kernel. As proof, there you go. All right, that's how to change the order in system deboot. If you want to know the change the order inside grub, previous video in the numbering system.